Yes, my name is Juan Carlos Gonzalez. I come from Spain, from Madrid. Uh, I have been working with uh, the National Institute uh, of Youth in Madrid, in Spain. It's uh, uh, the office of the government that works for the youth politics. And I made many strategies for, for social media. And here I will explain you, I'm gonna explain you uh, one of the most successful uh, strategy this year that we made and uh, why it's important for us this social media as a new channel for for the young people and the young information so i think what we're going to have how we're basically going to spread this session out over the next hour and a half is juan carlos is going to give you his presentation on his social media strategies and why he thinks social media is mainly a force for good and then I'm going to give a short presentation as well on my social media strategies and how I think social media is a negative force. We actually met on the first night completely by accident and we've been sizing each other up ever since on social media. So after we've given our little talks, um, then we'll just open up the floor if you guys want to ask us questions, ask each other questions, challenge anything what we've said. I'll be more than welcome. We'll be happy to have like a constructive and organized conversation, not on Twitter. So I think, yeah, oh, we'll yes, start with yeah. the positive social media aspects, if you are ready. And, yeah. <laughs> okay, it will be like a fight, you know, in okay. UK I'm and Spain and social or no social media. But finally, uh, we want to know that uh, this is a new way of communication uh, in a digital uh, technology world that we live that has disadvantages and advantages. And for us, of course, like a as an institution, as a government institution dedicated for young people, it's a good way to communicate because the, the young people it's use these this, uh, tools. So, uh, first of all, uh, I thought that I'm social media manager, I'm uh, also a journalist, so for us it's very important that social media needs to be related to the content, to the information, to the youth information, so uh, most of all are journalists, the department, and it's, I, we think that very important, uh, the design, but also the information we give in, in the social media, okay? So uh, I, uh, first I, wa I will give you uh, data and keys and how is, uh, we work with a good strategy and what, uh, why we identify that social media is a good way to communicate uh, to young people. And then uh, we, I, I'm gonna explain you a specific a strategy, okay? First of all, I want to know, uh, of course, you can tweet whatever you want, or Instagram or something, with the hashtag of Invent. Uh, it will be perfect uh, to give questions and, and what do you think about this explanation. First, I want to know if you, anyone knows who is this man? McLuhan is one of the most important uh, com communications experts in, in, in the history. And uh, the century, the, the last century, uh, many years ago, he already speaks, uh, talks about a global village. The global village is a world in which there is no necessary harmony. Imagine this man said that uh, in the 90s, okay? There is no necessary harmony, but there is an intense interest in the affairs around the world and a greatest participation in the life of others, okay? Do you think that we live now in the global village more than McLuhan? We are very interested in the participation, more, more even in an international context, no? Okay. Well, the rise of communication online, okay? Some data interesting. Uh, we are uh, four billion people that use internet in the world. You can see the penetration of people is 57% uh, of the world uses internet. And active social media users, there are 3.48 billion people of users in Okay, this is data of uh, 2019. You 
you can see of course that the mobile social media users is increasing also uh, we can here you can see that the format now is by mobile phones so uh, this is also important for the design of the pictures that we make and the format that we uh, that we use for the information in, in the social uh, publication okay and what about social media social media I, I said it's 3.48 and it's increasing the 9% in the last year so uh, the number of users is increasing okay look at the population and look at the users of, of social media the elements of a social media strategy, okay? Uh, in, in INCUBE, in the Youth Institute, uh, we have a website and a blog because first of all, we talk about social media that is in a general context. And then I will speak, I will talk about the social networks, which is the, the part that we work with. But in the, in the office, in the, our office of communications, digital communications, we work with a website and a blog with the newsletters uh, uh, weekly newsletters, virtual communities with all the the young the young offices of Spain, and the social networks. Okay, so here we are going to talk about the social networks. First, as, as short video. Last few years, social media has completely changed the internet, and actually, it has changed the whole world and also the world of marketing. So why do with a crisis country also it's important that it's a free uh, way to communicate okay so social media and audience we know that the youngest people are the public that mostly nowadays use the social media in Europe especially in Spain uh, for our uh, strategy uh, look that uh, from 16 to 30 years old the, the public uh, uses a uh, five social media platform, five social networks per day, okay? She uses Twitter, Instagram in the whole day, okay? Five per five. The, the favorite social media for Spanish people is Twitter and Instagram, and for video is YouTube. And about Twitter, the Twitter increases in people between 16 and 34 years. And this uh, idea, for example, uh, for the young people, uh, the great is a great platform to be aware of what is happening. This is important to know uh, how do we work in, in Twitter, okay? In Twitter, it, we work for information, so because the people want to know what is happening at the same time, at time, okay? And in Instagram, 
nowadays the the tool use the more the tool is uh, known because the Instagram stories, which is the the way to communicate in Instagram for institutions, and uh, more than 500 million of people uses uh, Instagram stories every day. Okay, so our strategy is located in this in this way in this social media. Empowering young people with social, okay? Benefits and opportunities. Uh, we identified last year that for young people, the social media is a way to powerful uh, the highlights. Also, it's a way to participate in social uh, campaigns and awareness, okay? And also to create debates and learn discussions in a local, national, and international context then uh, how to function in a virtual environment. We are going, uh, uh, we're still going to a virtual uh, world and virt virtual environment. So it's important to the young people know how to function in these environments. Also to encourage the discovery and the creativity and know about data management and ownership. This is important to protect your content the privacy and to know that uh, your picture, your photos is yours and uh, you are the owner of your content, okay? Ask others for help and advice in using services. Uh, they also can uh, work with others, observing in how they uh, work in the social media and the other, the other young people. And also they can meet uh, their old friends in different ways, in different countries, and explore uh, yourself, uh, building independence and developing social skills. <clears throat> also, uh, in, in Spain, we identify uh, like uh, that social networks nowadays is a source of information. We work uh, as a, uh, the, the biggest uh, uh, information center in Spain of European, uh, Young, uh, young uh, information, and uh, this is the best way to source the information. You can see that uh, it's growing uh, year by year as a source of information. Facebook is the second, uh, uh, the second public news media uh, to to read news and to read information about interested in Spain, and Twitter is the fifth. Okay, in Italy it's similar. And in France, too. How to communicate effectively in social networks? Uh, uh, we follow these six keys. We plan uh, every year uh, the strategy, and for specific campaigns, we plan the campaign. We, we study our specific audience. Uh, we, of course, have, have an objective. If, you, if we want to divulgate our institution or a special campaign, if we want all, only to interact and to inform people, if we want to educate uh, with a uh, report or a resume through social media, or if we want only uh, to create a community of fans. Then we elaborate relevant content with a team of designers. Uh, we post regularity, we schedule this publication, and finally we measure the results of each campaign. Of course, we ask if we uh, needs to be in all the social networks. If a specific campaign, uh, we need to be direct in one social network or in three or or both or four or five. We study first if it's uh, correct, and uh, because always is uh, the first is why we need to be in this. It's, it's, if we think that our public specific public in a specific campaign is not in Facebook, we don't work in this. So we study our public and why we need to be in each social network. About quality and effective content, uh, for us it's, it's a very important a short, simple, and direct post in, in, in social media. Take care with our spelling because we are an institution, we are an example of uh, content and quality and we generate interaction, okay? Uh, you see in the video that uh, it's a good way to communicate with, a, with an office, with an information office. 
we use Google Trends also uh, uh, every day to know uh, what is the taste and the conversation of the young people. You know? okay. Identifying words associated with our information. Okay. And we have an image banks and creativity tools, always free. You, you have many free tools to have to make creativities and on social media, always to give value to our publication. Okay? And tips, uh, we have a same graph and visual line. You can see that this is prices. Uh, we inform uh, in social media about the prices of the young Spanish people. Every week, every 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 day, they are, and we we offer internships and grants and all of this, and we have the, a graphic visual line for social media, and also we rename each file with keywords for the CEO and with this, all of this. Okay. Of course, with schedule and content, we use these tools, the the official tools of the social media. And for monitoring, we have a specific tools with Google Analytics, with where we study every day uh, how the content works, and for analyzing the social media. We also work weekly in this uh, social media, which is very interesting. We have free tool, we have free version to know the impact of each social campaign. But the most important for us is to interact with the with our users, with our young people, thanks to everyone, answer and be kind and grateful. Because uh, we always think about to create a community with each campaign and each day, and to search complicity with our teams and fans, okay? You can see that we thank, there's no problem to thank, uh, we are institution, but we can talk with, we can speak with people at the social media. And also we can, we make synergy between social networks. We have many profiles. We have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and also we have LinkedIn and YouTube. And uh, we have synergy. You can see in Twitter, we promote our Instagram. And in, in also in Instagram, uh, we ask them to, to follow us on, 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 on Twitter, for example. So finally, uh, the last year we detect that young people use social media as a way of communication, as a channel of communication, so it's a way to reach them, the young people, okay? And now, now I will explain how we made this campaign. This year it was an April, and it's a case of success about, uh, according to the student information day, okay? I don't know if you know that every year in, in Europe we have a Youth Information Day, which is every April 17th. In Spain we celebrate it because we have a very huge uh, red uh, network of uh, information, European information centers. So we celebrate it and we make for this year a special campaign in social media, celebrating and using the topic of the sustainable development goals of the United Nations, okay? This is the social media and youth participation campaign. For us, uh, we believe in an involvement in institutional politics according to a new era. Uh, we work every week, every day uh, in political participation projects to make a difference in the civic life of our communities, developing this in, in internet knowledge skills, values, and motivation to make the difference. So, April 17th, European Youth Information Day. We studied about this, we have the briefing of the Information Day, and we know that this year the main message is it's gonna be the youth information with the sustainable development goals, okay? You know that uh, uh, the United Nations adopted a set of goals, targets in 2015 to eradicate poverty, protect the planet, ensure prosperity, all of these uh, values. And uh, our government is very uh, 
conscious about this and we're working at institutional uh, uh, movement with these uh, goals. So our uh, topic is this. First of all, we identify the message, okay? Then we identify our target audience, okay? Where, what, wh who, for who is the, this, this uh, strategy? To achieve these goals, everyone has to do their part. First of all, the youth information centers, which it calls in, in Spain, it's Red Sea, the acronym, okay? This is the network of youth information centers coordinated by the INJUVE, the, the youth institution of Spain. We have more than 335 youth information centers in the in a regional, in regions and cities of, of Spain, which services and reach more than 145,000 young people. Okay? Then uh, we want to implicate the national and regional governments. Also, the, the Sustainable Development Goals High Commissioner. Uh, we have a high commissioner in the government that uh, specify for these goals, and also the civil society. After identifying our audience, we uh, choose the broadcast channel. Now, we are, uh, with this campaign, we work with the website as an information source, and the social networks, three only, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Okay, we publish uh, this in the website. We decided the hashtag for the whole social networks. And first, here you can see the website uh, when we publish the, the, the new about the, the campaign and the social media, which we only choose uh, three. Then we made a calendar. We decided two different initiatives. First of all, uh, the first initiative and second initiative, but first, from 12 to 13 March, look that is more than a month before the, the 17th of April, the day, we publish the information of the campaign at the website and we send the email explaining the message of the <coughs> day to the 335 centers, remember, okay? Then from March 18 to April 17, we made the first initiative the youth information centers with the sustainable development goals. Publishing the information, the poster, and making the goals known and collecting images. Then from 1 to 17 of April, we made the second initiative, 17 days, 17 goals, telling young people how they can incorporate these objectives into their daily lives, okay? So we already have the audience, we already have the calendar, we started, okay? The, the initiative one, we have a, an action in Madrid, in our building in the center of Madrid, and we have an action in the whole uh, red of network of centers, okay? We made a protocol, I don't know, you, you know the, which is a protocol, the circle of, of, of the sustainable goals that we live in the whole of our building, okay? From mid-March until the 17th of April, then we made 17 paper gold color cards and put them on a table next to the protocol and we invited the young people that visited our building for getting information and all of this to take an, also the Hoover workers to take an individual or group selfie holding the color card that most identifies them. Of course, they need to share it on social networks. Then action information centers we want that this campaign is uh, extended to the whole information center. So we suggest the information centers to do their own protocol and we publish all the information and the instruction kit on our website with a manual of instructions, okay? Encouraging them to share photos. Not only publishing pictures, we interact with them. Remember that it's very important to create a community, to thank all the publications. So every day we thank and gather the publications through retweets and reposts, okay? In Twitter, we retweet each image, uh, thank, uh, and we send a, a message of thank, and we may include it all in Twitter moments, in a, in a big Twitter moments. In Instagram, we repost each Instagram image 
And in Facebook, we, we create a weekly collection of the best pictures of the year. Here you can say, this is a Twitter moment. If, if you can, uh, you can find these Twitter moments published in uh, April 4th, and uh, each picture we have collected in, in, the, in a Twitter moment. Then uh, this is our director. Uh, she also be part of the of the initiative with the directors of of young of youth of all the regions and Madrid, for example, the center uh, they participate. And here you can see the creativity of the people who receive a lot of creativities. Uh, 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 photo calls and picture it was amazing the campaign that uh, the all the pictures that we that were received also the 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 institutes the schools the not only the centers uh, put the photo call also the schools uh, uh, put the photo call in their in their halls and they they be part of you can see that we thank all the, the publications. And finally, the second initiative, 17, 17 votes. We only, uh, we don't only want that uh, that uh, they know they know what about which are the 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 votes. Uh, we made uh, another initiative to inform why what <coughs> they can do for the vote. Okay, so we give three three ideas for each uh, goal. For example, this is the first goal: end of poverty, uh, replace gifts by donation, buy perfect products, or promote debates on poverty. This is the three message ideas for the young people that we that we gave on, on social media. Uh, for example, in Twitter, we made a small video and gift each day with a message of the initiative. In, in Instagram, we publish a whole video and a short video. And in Facebook, we also put a bigger, bigger, bigger text with ideas, with three ideas of each one. Here you can see Instagram stories and Facebook. We encourage the participation. And we, we want in Instagram to be more dynamic with text and picture. After finishing the campaign, we thank, of course, all the participants. Nowadays, uh, we thank every month and remember the initiative because it was very important. And this work doesn't finish here. We analyze the results and the statistic of each social media. We have a very huge impact in this campaign. So the question, do we achieve our own goal, our 18 goal for us? Of course, we promote the youth, the youth participation, the solidarity and social awareness in our communities with the movement of the 17 sustainable development goals following this commitment, okay? And this, uh, this campaign continues in other way. Uh, the commissioner in Spain launch, launches this week uh, the Odeseate is another similar campaign, continuing this campaign that we started with the support of the Spanish Youth Institute. So uh, our campaign is uh, a, a reference and we still continue to be uh, to working with these development goals on social media.